Ace and Altan, dry ma. So I don't have my microphone, so when I uh, lay down, you might not be able to hear me so well, but you can see me, hopefully. So this is the strap I have. It's just one where, like the metal thing, you can adjust it, and I just make a loop. But really, you can use any strap. You just need to wrap it around your foot like this. But I use this loop here. Um, so I have like really bad hip problems right here. Like one of my hips lower than the other, I hear this cracking. And every time I do these stretches, when I, when I take my leg to the left, I'll hear a snap, 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 snap. But it feels like it's the right kind of snapping. And just, there's like a good pain and a bad pain, as you know, like it might be like a stretching kind of pain, but if it's like a, a tingling, if it starts to tingle or if it's a real sharp pain, then stop what you're doing. Um, but basically, so I'll get a yoga mat and I'll lay flat on my back, right? And then I'll stick this loop around my right foot, leave my other leg straight, lay back, and I'll pull this leg up to the sky, breathing in through the nose, breathing out through the nose, and just stretching. Maybe uh, keep a slight bend in your knee and keep your toes, especially if your knee hurts, but to protect your knees, keep your toes flexed up. And just breathing in and stretching the hamstring, you'll feel that stretch through here, right? And just do this for, you know, like at least 30 seconds. And then I take this leg out to the right side or whatever side you're doing. And you'll feel that stretch in here. And just keep breathing in and out through the nose. And just relax the legs and the muscles and just focus on your breath and just keep breathing. And just feel that stretch in that part of the body and just relax your glute. Relax into the stretch and you can pull your leg up more toward your head with your arms, leaving your leg relaxed, you can feel a deeper stretch. And then, then I usually come back straight up for a second, and then I go to this other side. So I look, I look to the left, to the opposite side that I'm stretching this hip, and you'll feel that stretch right in here. Just ease into it and keep breathing and keep relaxed. Don't clench your teeth. Just keep a relaxed face and body. And just let the gravity do the work. And you know your arm can pull your leg a little bit to get a deeper stretch. And I suggest doing it for like 15, 30 seconds, each one. And then you and then you switch sides. This is the side that I have problems with right here. And the same thing on this other side. Always a slight bend in the knee. Try to keep the toes flexed. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Now let that leg fall to the opposite side. Relax it. Feel that stretch in here. When you're stretching all these muscles, it's gonna relieve tension wherever your pulled muscle is or whatever's pinching a nerve it's going to start to loosen up that area. And then I go straight back up. I'm not doing it for as long as you should try to do it, but you can just do it for short amounts of time and just keep doing it over if you want to. But I suggest doing it for like five or 10 minutes. And then this is the side where I feel the cracking. When I relax into it, I feel snap, snap, snap in my lower back. But I can feel the tightness on this side, how different it is. You'll probably notice one side's a lot different than the other. Yeah, and that, that's it for that one. Also grabbing your knees, pulling them in, and doing like circles on your lower back, back and forth opposite ways, and just rocking back and forth on your sit bones. And you know, do some rolling like this, your spine. And that's pretty much it and you probably know uh, the pigeon pose I don't know if that'd be too hard for you
but I usually have a block as assistance or a pillow. Um, and you can start in the cat cow and then go up the down dog. Maybe pedal out your feet some, bring my leg into the air, and then I bring my foot, you know, L shaped. Usually I'm sitting on something for support. And then I just breathe into it. Just keep breathing and just hold this one for a while if you can, if it feels okay. And then, you know, I do the opposite stretch, get that quad on the opposite side, lifting the heart, breathing, make sure to breathe, and then back down, and then the other side. Breathe into it. This side's a lot tighter for me. And open the heart. Push the quad. Breathing. And then I usually from here, since my leg is like this, I cross this leg over the other leg. And I do like some spinal twists. So I raise my arm up to the air reach it back, you know, hand on the ground right behind the, the lower spine, reach the other arm up, breathing in, breathing out, cross the arm on the inside, keep the back straight, kind of look behind you and move your eyes, looking to the right as well, and then do a counter stretch, come around, touch the ground, and then switch legs and do the spinal twist on the opposite side. Re reaching straight up, stretching high, breathing in, breathing out, taking your hand, putting it on the ground, center right behind your spine, breathing up with the other arm, breathing out, crossing it over, and looking the other way. Always breathing in and out of the nose, deep rhythmic breathing opposite side counter stretch and that, that's it that's just like that's just some of the things I do um, but th those are particularly good for the hip and the lower back and getting some of the tightness out of the hamstrings and the quads because when we hurt our back and our hip and stuff all that stuff gets super super tight um, Darren could obviously tell you more but I got tips from like Amanda Darren all sorts of teachers and uh, blessings brother love you Gemma <laughs>